All right, so what we're doing today is don't make my mistake. This is bad. Anyways, good news. Bumper is finally here. But we're back at adjusting these. Because what we did, which I haven't seen much people do, this, like I said, it's my first time doing anything four by four. But so Bilstein has these. There's four of them. Okay. We max it out all the way to the very top. So now we're going to adjust them back down because all I'm doing is bouncing around like this every time I hit a little bump. And it literally looks like I'm a Honda with some freaking coilovers on. So it sucks. Been riding around it for like a week now. So now I'm back at the shop and we're going to adjust these. Hopefully the ride's a lot better, but everything's been good so far. Besides that, that's the only shitty thing. But I'm going to actually get some new ones of these. I guess they said get them off the second gen. I'm gonna get some of those, especially for the front two. They're all worn out. They're all, there's nothing left on here. They're all ripped up and everything but yeah and i gotta get a new racking pin steering rack pin steering whatever you want to call it but let's hope lowering lowering the clip down a bit will help the ride because right now the ride is horrible so don't make that mistake guys couldn't find that video on YouTube anywhere. That. And those bolts right there. Shouldn't be too hard, but I guess we'll see. Because what a pain is to get that bolt right back in. That's the only shitty part about this. And then I guess, take into the... Putting on the spring compressor, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> but yeah, just take off those three bolts and that last one right there, and then lower it down. Lower that clip all the way down. I'm probably gonna go to the second one. Okay, we got all the bolts out. Got that one out. I still can't pull it out, so I just pulled out this. There it is right there. Took us forever to find it. Which one is it? A 5 sixteenths? 5 sixteenths. Or <laughs> 15 sixteen. There it is. Did you take off? That right there. So now we're going to lower the lower control arm and try to pull that out. Yeah. Update. I used that. Got it right there. And just pushed down. This whole thing came off. So let's go load it up on the spring compressor, whatever thing, this right here. And let's get the suspension done. Got the other side out now. A lot easier than the other side, not gonna lie. It was weird, but yeah. So this is for driver's side. That one's already loaded up in there. And I'm debating. Do I want to go back to the very bottom line or do I want to go the second line? That's my question. And then I got those spacers too. I'm not sure if you guys knew that. But those are spacers. But yeah, I'm debating on whether I to go to the first line or the second line. Because I do got the aftermarket bumper. <laughs> I'm thinking second just because I want to rub on those 33s over there. I really don't want to rub, so I don't want to lose too much of a lift. I don't know. I'm all over the place and I really don't know this world of four by fouring. But, just look at that. An inch out, perfect stance. I don't know if that's what you guys call it in the four by four world, but that's what we call it in the car world, I guess. <laughs> 
let's get this done. As you guys can tell, my deputy, look at that. Just rotted away. I should have got those while we did the lift. That was my mistake. But shit happens, I guess, right? But. All right, guys, so what you saw was us lower the clip down to number two. So if you're looking at the Bilsteins like this, there's a stock level, I believe it's one inch, two inch, then two and a half. And we went all the way to the very top. This was such a harsh ride. I mean, it was horrible, I did it for a week. But uh, now that um, we lowered it, we went to number two, which is a one inch. And holy shit, it's rides like, it's on clouds, like it's amazing. So I'm glad we did that, so thanks to Jack. Uh, for helping me out with that um, over at the shop uh, the normal guy that I go to Brian which is one of my good friends uh, he's moving so we didn't get a so he wasn't there today so Jack and I forgot the other guy's name but they both uh, knocked it out I pretty much took everything apart and then um, I don't know how to use the spring compressor thing whatever you want to call it so they did that but yeah um, so I read in the comments on a previous video, they said, why don't you, you know, they're on a different video. They're asking the guy that has the exact same lift that I do and everything. They asked him, why didn't he go to number two like I did? Um, Cause he's, and he said, well, he heard it was too much preload. So he left it on stock, which is level one. And um, now I see what he's talking about, but he said he doesn't know if clip two would be safe and I uh, wasn't sure if it was going to be too much of a harsh ride bounciness like how I had and now that I did it and I went to number two um, to solve that question that the YouTuber had or the other previous person asked number two is perfect number one probably feels really well but now that I went to uh, a one inch so clip number two feels perfectly fine now it's just dealing with the bumper. Um, I unboxed it or unwrapped it, whatever the hell you want to call it, and it's all dinged up. So I had a email SRQ Fabrications, because that's where I got it from. And now I'm gonna see if they're gonna pay or give me a refund or something for the bumper being chipped up. I mean, literally metal pieces are, I don't know, taken out from that bumper here. And those bumpers ain't cheap. So I need something to be figured out because I'm not about to put that on and it looks like shit. Anyways, guys, so is it safe to go to number to clip number two for one inch? You know, with the, I believe I got the 883s of the Old Man Emu spring. And yes, it's safe to do it on clip two, clip three and four, which is your maxing out. Um, the shock, I would say no to that because I had a horrible ride, but Number two, safe. Number one, even even safer. <laughs> but all right, guys. Slick, I'm out.